I am no longer a worker in the field. I am the big boss. Big boss, man. What's up, farmers? This is KJ48, and welcome back to my Let's Play for Farming Simulator 19. Last video, well, the first video, we um, we went ahead and harvested the wheat off of this field, and we brought it all the way over to... Where did we bring it to? The restaurant. And we sold it there, even though it wasn't the best price. Hey, you know, I felt like doing them a solid, right? I felt like doing them a solid. So what are we going to do today? Well, um, again, guys, I haven't seen your comments for episode one yet, so please bear with me as far as hiring people go goes. Um, this field right here is a field that is owned by me. It's canola. Um, its growth is harvested. It's, no, it's not fertilized and it's not weeded. So what I'm going to do is we're going to hop in this bad boy right here and we're going to, I guess, till it? I'm um, not really sure. Um, so let's go ahead and till it, I guess. Um, cultivator. Okay, so food cultivator. Uh, fold, uh, sorry, fold cultivator. Let's fold it. I want to see what that does. Alright, so we, you definitely want to unfold it and then lower it. And I think this is going to cultivate the soil, which I'm not really sure. Guys, I don't know anything about farming. I don't know what that does, but I think it gets ready for me to plant crops. So let's go ahead and do this. There we go. Alright, so it looks like we're not quite at the side yet, so let's go right there. Can we go into this camera angle? Alright. What are those numbers? I wonder what those numbers are. I don't know. Definitely the bottom is speed. I don't know what the top one is. Maybe like, I don't know. Who knows? Alright, so let's come on through here, and then we just gotta turn around. Alright, we could probably raise it to make turning around a little easier. Alright. And we didn't quite do a great job on this, but that's okay. We will get better as we go along. This is a brand new thing for me. Um, I like this game, though, man. This is a lot of fun. This is a lot of fun. I'm, I'm interested to see how the first video is going to do. So we're going to come on through. Yeah, so it looks like I missed some on the side over there. I think I'm going to get those just to... After this, we have to plant the seeds. We get another vehicle. I think it's that one over to the right, and we plant the seeds. We could have planted the seeds on the one right in front of us, and we will. We will. Um, can we do this backwards? No, see, you can't do it backwards. I, I definitely... I tried that earlier with a different machine. You have to go forwards with these machines. At least as far as I can tell. So, they don't turn worth a damn, either. <laughs> they really don't, but... What are you going to do? Maybe I should turn to the right and give it, and like give myself a bit of um, uh, room to turn around instead of just trying to turn around like on a dime. Might be a good idea. Uh, like I said, I'm not very good at driving these type of things. I, I have no idea what I'm doing. Total noob. I grew up on a farm, but like I, I, you know, I haven't been in a, on a tractor in forever. I'm a, I wouldn't say I'm a city boy, but, you know, I don't live in a city. I live in the, the suburbs, basically. Definitely not farmland. A lot of farmland in New Jersey, though. We are the garden state, you know? All right, so let's come on through here. All right, so you want to kind of slow down and just line up your tires, and then you can go balls out. Balls out. 15 miles an hour, boys. Oh, boy. 15 miles an hour. We're going now. We're going like a bat out of hell, people. Oh, beautiful. Just beautiful. All right. So then we'll go this way. And okay. So I, I do like the turning around of going the opposite way, giving yourself a nice big circle. Yeah, that's the way to go. That's the way to go. You guys should see me doing the tutorial. I should have recorded the tutorial, but I don't know. It probably would have been uh, painful for a lot of people. It was painful for me. I hope this isn't painful. <laughs> oh, man. If you think this is painful, boo, you really don't want to see me do the tutorial. All right. So I'm going to kind of try to line these up. I know I'm not doing this the best. All right. So let's come on over here. Turn around. Maybe I'll try and hire someone to put the seeds down on the other one. Not really sure. I don't know how the hiring works. Maybe you just kind of... Like, pull up onto the, the, the crops you want to deal with. Like, whether you want to cultivate or plant seeds or harvest. And you just hire somebody and then they know exactly what to do. I have no idea. I have no idea. Alright, so this is starting to go a little bit more smoothly. I can appreciate that. Definitely wouldn't want cruise control. Because I'm, I'm not going, like, long enough to warrant cruise control. So, there we go. Alright. Alright. As we get better, we'll, uh... There's a lot of overlap. Like, I'm trying not to go... Like, I'm trying not to push the side of the machine too close to the crops. 
Um, as a matter of fact, right here, I'm just going to kind of go to the right and kind of even try and even these out a little bit. But as time goes on, I'll be able to move over and over a little bit more each time. Because it's kind of hard to tell where the the thing on the back, um, like, starts and ends. You know, it's a little difficult. Um, but as I, as I use it more, I'll get more used to it. So are these things using gas? I feel like the... I feel like the maintenance thing's going down more than the gas. It doesn't feel like these things are using any gas. I'm not sure if that's because of the, like, the newbie, like, farming thing I'm playing or, you know, what the deal is, but I'm not sure. I'll have to find out. Maybe it just goes down really slow. I don't think that's the case, though. I think it might be newbie farming, you know, sim right now, but I wish gas would go down. I mean, I can, I can, I might be a new, but I can make enough, make, get, get gas, guys, you know? So, not really sure. What the dealio is with that. Alright. So there we go. And it looks like eh, maybe two more passes. Hopefully two more passes. The other end is um uh is a lot thicker than this end. Like uh it looks like I'm kinda a little off here. Probably gonna be two more uh maybe three more passes. Damn it. I don't wanna have to do three more passes. Come on. Come on. Nah. Nah, it's definitely gonna be three. Gosh darn it! Damn it, Cage! You call yourself a farmer? No, I don't call myself a farmer. I'm a, I'm a YouTuber. You're not. You're KJ48. You're no farmer. No! Take it back! Take it back! You're no farmer. You're no son of mine! <laughs> so I wonder what I was listening to when I was like. 15 years old and cutting the grass on my 17 acres on my farm. I can, never, I can remember, it was like summer vacation and my parents have to go to work and, you know, they leave me at home. I, I actually, I don't think I was 15. I think I was like 12. <laughs> and, um, you know, they leave me at home because back then you'd leave a 12-year-old home alone. Um, and they gave me like, I think 50 bucks a day. Man, that's a lot. Really? Was that 50 bucks? Maybe 50 bucks a week. Yeah, probably 50 bucks a week. Um... Yeah, I was a spoiled kid, though. It could have been 50 bucks a day. Uh, yeah, and I used to just uh, cut grass all day. Because I had no friends. I have no friends. I have no friends. That's what I used to sing while I was cutting the grass. I have no friends. And then I got some friends, and then I uh, said, You know what? Cut your own damn grass. I don't need your 50 bucks. I'm going to go hang out with Mike, my best buddy. Alright, so this place is all nice and tilled. Or cultivated, or whatever the hell you want to call it. Man, this thing really goes fast. Holy crap. Alright, so we're going to lower this. And then we're going to get off this thing. Now let's see what this says. Owned by you. It's it's uh, field info. Owned by you. And that's it. Okay, so should we fertilize it? I don't know when we do any fertilization right away. Um, I think I just want to start planting stuff. But maybe I should. I, honestly, I don't remember how I fertilize. That doesn't look like a fertilizer. That looks... Actually, that might be a fertilizer. Uh, let's go ahead and pick the thing up in front. And then we will press... Uh, pick the thing up in the back. Okay. Uh, turn on sower. Okay, so this is the sower. So this is not the fertilizer. Am I in a position to fertilize right now? I don't know if I am. That's not a fertilizer. That's not a fertilizer. That's not a fertilizer. That's not a fertilizer. That's a train. I don't know why I'm on a train. Um, okay, yeah, I don't know if I have a fertilizer. Maybe I don't. All right, well, whatever. All right, well, let's use this thing then. Uh, should we hire a worker? Now we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this by ourselves for the first time. Um, so we need to. All right, guys. If you press P, that brings you up to the shop, right? And then you could go right here to objects and I think big bags. Um, we've got pig food, um, oat big bag, wheat big bag, seed big bag. I guess seed big bag is what I want. And it's got a base cost and it's also got like a um, per operating hour. So I'm not really sure what that means per operating hour. Um, base price. I have no idea what any of that means. Um, but it says it's for seed, seed big bag. I don't know. Let's just buy it. Um, did we buy it? I don't think we bought it. Buy? Did you want to purchase? Sure. You can fetch your purchase at the store. Oh, I got to actually go to the store for it. So, where is the store? Stop it, darn it. Can I actually tab to the store? Can I get off this? Oh, dude, you can take the locomotive around. Oh, that's so cool. That's cool. 
All right, so where is this store? Uh, store, 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 store. Uh, grass. So that's all that's. What about this? That, that. Uh, spinnery. I don't know what that is. Farm silo. I don't know what that is. That's where I am. Um, where is this freaking store? X lands pan map. Yeah, I have no idea where the store is. Uh, let me see if I can figure out where the store is. All right, guys, we are at the store. Let me show you where we are on the map. We're at the shop, okay? And I've been looking into what I what I need to do here to get this pallet moved. I went and bought, bought one of these forklift things. That didn't do anything. I got this front loader. That didn't do anything. And then after doing some research, it, I saw that it's this vehicle's uh, issue. Um, this tractor is like a starter tractor. And it's not really, I don't think you could do anything with it, really. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy a new tractor, uh, one that can hold on to the front loader. Because this one, you know what, I'll just go show you right now. Because this one, as far as I can tell, I can't get a front loader attachment on this. I tried to customize it, and there was no option. It's probably just like a newbie tractor, you know. So um, I'll just bring it over here. This is where you bring it if you want to customize it. And you come over here, and you go to customize it. And the only thing I can do is change the tires. I can make it look pretty boss there with two tires, but I don't really know what that does to it. Um, what does that, does that do anything to it or just make it look cool? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it helps it not get stuck, but I can't do anything else with customization. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and buy a new, new tractor, right? I want to get this pallet home. Now, there's, there's different ways we can get a lot of these pallets home at once, and we'll do that in a future video. But for now, I'm just trying to keep it simple. That's what, that's what people always tell me. Keep it simple, stupid. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to small tractors and we're going to go to this green one right here. It was the first one I could see that, um, that could take, wow, $76,000. Whoa, that's a, that's a lot of money. Anyway, um, now we're going to sell the, the old one for however much we can get for it. All right. So here we got with this one. Uh, first of all, let me, uh, this is the one that I started with. And then this one does not have the, it's, it just has configuration, um, for front weight, and just a bunch of wheels and an engine setup. So as far as I can tell, you can't put the um, the front loader on that one. Now for this one, we could go a little bit cooler with the wheels. Um, how much does that do to it? Uh, options plus 1,000. Uh, initial leasing cost. So it changes the leasing cost, but it doesn't change the base price. That's pretty interesting. Uh, it changes the base price over here, but not the base price over here. Uh, well, it does give me more option. options. I don't really know what that is. Anyway, we're going to stick with the general tires. Um, you can do stuff with the engine, um, the wheel setup, and there we go. Front loader, yes. All right. Yeah, go back to the regular tires. Front loader, yes. Okay, the tre Trelleborg? Trelleborg? I have no idea. Standard, uh, regular engine setup, and front loaders, yes. Let's go ahead and buy that. There we go. Now we have no monies left. Now we have no monies left. So let's just get the hell out of here. And let's go over here and sell our old tractor. So this is pretty much the first thing I would do if I were you guys. This thing sucks. Or maybe, I don't know. I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just kind of, you know, just screwed around here. So maybe I'm completely wrong about this. But let's go ahead and sell this. Uh, the vehicle tool has been sold. So I got 52000 for that. So that's pretty good. Um, it was selling for like 59000 So that's not a bad, that's not a bad uh, price for that. Considering how much it was selling for. So... Now, let's get into this thing, and let's kind of pull out here, and back up. Oh, this thing's faster, too. Cool. All right, so we should be able to attach this. There we go. All right, front loader's attached. All right, well, this took forever for me to figure out. Um, <laughs> basically, what happened was I, brought, I bought the wrong um, pallet thingy-mabob. Um, I bought this one right here, I think. Uh, and that one, for some reason, doesn't work with my front loader. Um, I'm not sure if there's any way you're supposed to know what's, what's going to work with what. Maybe there is. I don't know. Um, I don't know what any of this means. Um, but, yeah, uh, I had to buy a different one. And basically what I did was I went to where I bought the front loader, front loaders, and I bought the one that was in the same page. That's probably a clue that, <laughs> that it will work with the front loader. Okay, so I went ahead and bought it, and it's sitting right there. I only lost I only lost a little bit of money. I just wasted a little bit of money on that. Um, but this should work. Uh, so we come up to this, and we should be able to attach this. There we go. All right, and now uh, kind of bring this up like this, and then we switch it with G, 
and then we could bring this around. Okay, so now, now what we want to do is we want to bring this down. That looks pretty good. Might be able to get that pallet like this. Um, let's get this stupid thing out of the way. There we go. Get out of here. You're the wrong thing. I bought the wrong thing. All right, so let's see if we can pick this up. I think we've got to pick it up from the, the other angle. So what we're going to do is we're going to come around here, and we're going to try to pick it up from this angle. All right, this should work. Now, let's get this thing lower. Uh, nope, like that. And nope, like that. G, right? Uh, G. G? Why is it um staying on that? Oh well, uh, no G. That should now that should be the um. Oh, I see. Okay. All right, there we go. Hopefully that's close enough to the ground. Should be. We'll see. So is this gonna work? It looks like it's gonna work, people. There we go. Success! Oh hell's yeah, hell's yeah. All right, guys, just got a nice screenshot. Um, I like the help window. But at the same time, I kind of think that, um, hold on, how do I, how do I bring it in? Uh, just like that. Nope. G. Nope. So that's weird. It's, um, it's giving me two separate tools. I guess that's for, just for detaching purposes. I'm not sure how to, how to bring it in, but whatever. We could just go home like this. I'm trying to I'm trying to make the uh, front loader kind of come in a little bit, but that's okay. That is perfectly okay. Um, now what I want to do next time uh, next time I come to get seeds, you could buy like a um, a big uh, like flatbed, and then you could put like tons of pallets on there. Um, there's probably easier ways to do this. I'm sure you guys will let me know in the comments. Um, but yeah, I mean this is really fun. This is really fun. It's taking me some time to get you. Man, this thing goes fast. This thing's awesome. I don't know anything about this game, guys. This is my first day playing it, but from what I can tell, I think you want to sell that newbie tractor and buy this one. Like, right off the bat. Um, let me know if I'm wrong. I could very well be wrong. You can also buy a pickup truck. So, I'm not really sure if I want to buy the pickup truck. I don't know what the pickup truck would really do for me. Because I don't think the pickup truck can move the pallets. Because the pallets are too heavy for me to pick up by myself and put on the pickup truck. So, I think having this thing going 50, you know, 50 something miles an hour... Um, is pretty good. I don't really think we want a pickup truck because if I go to get seeds, but there's probably other things we'd want the pickup truck for. But if I go to get seeds, then, you know, I can't get the pallet on the pickup truck, so there's really no, no point in it. Maybe there's some way you could do it that I don't know about, but yeah, not really sure. Also, it's coming up to nighttime. I wonder if you can, uh, I wonder if you could skip the night. Yeah, by the way, this thing's so much better because it's also way faster. All right, so let's see if we can uh, seed this place before the end of the video. That would be awesome. I thought I was going to be seeding all these things and just going nuts. And, man, it took me all day to figure out uh, how to do this pallet thing. All right, so we're just going to put this down right next to the seed thingy. We probably don't even have to put it down, honestly. Yeah, I bet you we don't have to put it down. Let's see. Oh, it fell. <laughs> all right, well, whatever. Hopefully it's close enough. All right, guys, I'm not really sure, but I think this thing had uh, seeds in it the whole time. <laughs> but I don't think it has corn. I don't see anything that looks like corn. No, I don't think that's corn. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything that looks like corn. Corn looks like this. Um, so, I don't know. I'm not seeing it in the uh, options. So, let's go ahead and do some of this. All right, so, um, yeah, I think this thing actually had seeds in it. So, I didn't need to um, go get any of those seeds, but that's okay. I'm glad I did because I learned a lot today. All right, so lift, open cover. I don't know what open cover is. Oh, there's all the seeds. Okay. All right. Turn on seller, hire worker, select seed, unload. All right. So this thing doesn't get any bigger, huh? All right. So let's uh, let's see this. Let's see this biatch. All right. Turn on seller. Uh, lift seller. Ridge marker. I'm not sure what a ridge marker is. Oh. Okay. Oh, it's on both. Okay, so that shows you where the seeds are going to be. Oh, cool. Alright, so is that just going to... There we go. So it doesn't use the seeds until you're actually, um... Until you're actually on the proper, you know... 
uh, till the land. So that's cool. So. All right. Awesome. Awesome. Now, will it stop when I go off it? Yes, it does. Okay, so it doesn't put down seeds unless you're on tilled land. So that's a little bit of um, simplification for you. Maybe if you play on, um, uh, maybe if you play on uh, uh, tougher difficulties, that changes. So we're gonna do the marker on the left side. I don't really know if I guess it's just line that up, right? Oh, oh, oh. Okay, line it up as best you can. Oh, so it looks like it's messing up the uh, the tilling. I wonder if that's doing something. Because look at it. It's, it's putting little divots in the ground. Maybe I shouldn't be doing that. Ridge marker. You know what I think that ridge marker is for? I think the ridge marker is for if you're doing separate crops, maybe, on the same tilled land. I don't know. It's the only thing I, don't, I don't really know what the point of that is. So I'm not going to use it. Maybe if I was planting like one, two different crops right next to each other, it could separate it for me. That's the only thing I could think of. All right. There we go. Awesome. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to finish this up off camera because this has been a long episode for you guys. I know it has. And um, like I said, I didn't need to get seeds, but I'm still glad I did because I learned a lot today. And uh, we got a much better tractor, and that is freaking phenomenal. Um, if you want to see more of this uh, game, make sure you leave the comments and the likes and stuff. Uh, you know, because I'm enjoying it, but, you know, I want to know if you guys are enjoying it. Because, you know, if you're not enjoying it, then um, I can't do it. Because um, i got to make you guys happy. That's what I'm here for, right? I make you happy, don't I? Sometimes. I hope so. Anyway, <laughs> if you end up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy. By the way, guys, a little post commentary here. Check it out. I got a worker. Hells yeah. It's a lady worker. I can get in with her. Oh, man, that's awesome. So I do have a worker, so that's cool. Uh, it doesn't say how much I'm paying her, though. Um, okay, so my money is going down. You can see right there my money is going down. Like, it looks like it's going down $1 every two or three seconds. Like, $1 every two or three seconds. That is freaking phenomenal, guys. I am no longer a worker in the field. I am the big boss. Big boss, man. <laughs> All right, guys. That's the real end of the video. I'll see you next time.